and get started. Thank you guys for joining us. Um, so my name is Monica. I am the Wildlife Education Specialist for Nebraska Game and Parks. Um, I'm in the Lincoln office. So um, I got one group joining me from Wayne and the other group from Wayne as well, right? Think so? All right, yes, thank you. Good. All right. So um, what we're going to do today is we're going to do some wildlife jeopardy with you guys. So um, we're going to do some trivia, basically some trivia knowledge. So raise your hand if you guys have ever heard of jeopardy or have played jeopardy before know what jeopardy is. Like some of us. Good. Awesome. So we're going to do um, a couple different things today. Uh, we're going to talk about some animals and some plants and some habitats that are here in Nebraska. And so I'm going to actually, since you guys are already kind of divided, team one and team two, um, Jessica, your team is going to be team one, um, if that works. And then um, team two is going to be Rebecca's class. Is that all right for you guys? Perfect. Thank you. All right. Um, I have a pre-made thing for us. So I will go ahead and share my screen here for you guys. All right, everyone can hopefully see that. All right, so if you haven't played Jeopardy before, totally fine. What we're gonna do is I have some different categories here. So I have mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, insects, and then just random wildlife questions. So if you guys notice, I have 100, 0 0.2, 3, 4, and 5. So the 100 and 200s are going to be a little bit easier questions. And then the last uh, 4 and 500s are going to be the hardest ones. So what we'll do is we'll take turns going back and forth between classes. Um, so Jessica's team, you will go first and you'll uh, one of your students can say, I would like the insects category for 300 or whatever you guys want to decide. Um, and then I'll give you about 15 seconds to talk with your groups and discuss your answer. And then if you guys actually don't get it right, the other team will have a chance to steal the question or steal the answer. And if they get it right, they get the points. If your team, though, gets it right, you will get the points. All right. So we can go ahead and get started. Um, Jessica, would you like to have one of your team uh, members pick a category and a number? Insects for 200. 300. All right, insects for 300. All right, well, this is a very large picture. So sorry about that. It's a very large picture. All right, so the question is, what does this thing, what is this thing? come for or come from what is that thing I will give you guys a hint I'm sure you've been finding a lot of them lately I have one all right so when you guys know the answer go ahead and shout it out what do you think it is oh, hey. you need to talk about it with your team yeah go ahead and I'll give you guys like 15 seconds to go ahead and discuss with your team and then when you have an answer go ahead and let me know they said it's a cicada. Ooh, you guys are right. Good job. It is a cicada. All right. So team one, you got 300 points. Congratulations. All right. So team two, Rebecca's team, what category and number would you guys like? We would like reptiles and amphibians for 200. All right, reptiles and amphibians for 200. All right, so within the world, there are four different types of groups of reptiles. What are the three that are found in Nebraska? So when I say groups, there's all these different types. They can fit into four different categories. What are the three that we have here in Nebraska? So I'll give you guys like 15 seconds to talk with your group and then we will talk about answers. And remember team two, if they, or team one, if they do not get this, you guys could steal the points.
All right, team two, do we have an answer? Uh, we just came up with snakes. Okay, you are correct. That is one of them. That is one of them. So team two, or sorry, team one, you guys have a chance now to steal the points if you can figure out the question. So they did one for you. They found snakes. What are two other ones that we have in Nebraska? Turtles. We think it's frogs and turtles. Okay, is that your final answer? Yeah. Final yeah. answer. All right, you guys are so close. So frogs are actually gonna be amphibians. So the three different types of reptiles that we have in Nebraska are turtles, lizards, and snakes. There are crocodiles in the world, but we just don't have those in Nebraska. So, all right, good try. All right, so team one, it's back to you guys. What um, category and what number would you guys like? Mammals for 400. All right, mammals for 400. All right, so what is Nebraska's only marsupial? Do you guys know what a marsupial is? So if you're not familiar with what a marsupial is, think of a kangaroo. A kangaroo will have a pouch where she holds all of her babies. So in Nebraska, we have one mammal species that has a pouch. What mammal do you think that is? A possum. What? A possum. Possum. Ooh, possum. You guys are good. Yeah, it is a possum. Good job, team one. You are up 700 points. Nice job. Good job. All right, team two, it is your turn. What category and number would you guys like? All right, birds for 100. All right, so what is the state bird of Nebraska? State bird of Nebraska. And remember, team one, they don't get it. You could. Uh, hey, bird it is. Oh, what is that? Xander. Xander. Meadow. 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 Good. It is the metal lark. The Western metal lark. Good job, team two. All right. You're on the board. All right. So, team one, your turn. What um, category would you guys like? They want birds for 500. We're taking Ooh. the tough ones. All right, this is a tough one. All right, so I'm going to show you guys a bird here, and you're going to have to name what kind of species it is. All right, so here's my friend. Hopefully you guys can see him okay. Here is my bird. What kind of bird is this? They're found in Nebraska. They okay. said it's an owl. Good. Do you guys know what kind of owl? You know what kind? No. No. You want to say it? Say it. No. Wait. Wait. Jason, did you have it? No. They don't know what specific kind it is. Okay. Well, I will let a team. Barn a barn owl? A barn owl. All right. You guys are super close. It is a great horned owl. Great horned owl. You were so close. So yeah, barn owls. We have barn owls, barred owls, and we have great horned owls. They kind of all sometimes look similar to each other. This is one of our largest birds or our largest owls that we have in Nebraska. So you guys have ever heard a bird like the ooh, ooh, ooh sound? That is this guy. All right. Team two. What category would you guys like? We'll do birds for 200. All right, birds for 200. All right, name one raptor, one bird of prey that is found in Nebraska. We have a lot of them. So you guys only have to name one kind of bird of prey. A hawk. <laughs> An eagle. An eagle, good job. That is one of them. So there's hawks, eagles, owls, osprey, vultures, harriers, kites, falcons. We have a lot of different kinds of birds of prey. So when you see a bird of prey, you know that it's a raptor because it has a very big hooked beak. They have very sharp talons. They're usually larger birds, not all of them. Like kestrels are really small, but things like an eagle or a turkey vulture are gonna be huge birds. Good job. All right, team one, it's your turn. What category would you like? Birds for 300. All right, you guys like the bird question. All right, so every year, tens of thousands of these kinds of birds come to Nebraska around the Kearney Grand Island area. 
to feed on the Platte River as they go north. Do you guys know what kind of birds these are? They usually come about March, April time, and they're very large birds. They're like three feet tall, and they come to Nebraska. We know it if they don't oh, have a guess. All right, they <laughs> said geese. Ooh, it's not geese. We do have a lot of geese that come, but that's not what I'm thinking of. So team two, do you guys know the answer? Sand hill crane. Good, sand crane. Good job. Awesome. All right. All right, team one, two. Team two. What uh, category would you guys like? We'll do birds for four hundred. All right, birds for four hundred. All right. So this is one of the only birds in the world to have a sense of smell. They can smell carrion or dead animals about a mile away. So what bird has the sense of smell in Nebraska? We're gonna say the turkey vulture. Yeah. Good, it is a turkey vulture. You guys are on a roll, good job. All right, team one, you can still come back. We got plenty of time. All right, team one, what would you guys like? We would like the random category for 300. All right, random category for 300. All right, name one fish species that can be found in the Missouri River. So if you guys imagine the state of Nebraska, the Missouri River is gonna be all the way over by Iowa. It kind of is the border between us and Iowa. What one fish that could be found in there? There's a lot. Um, they said they had two different answers, so they wanted me to say both. They said catfish and bass. All right. Catfish is a good answer. Yes, catfish can be found in there. There's lots of other ones, but here's the main ones. Pallid sturgeon, shovel, shovel nose sturgeon, drum, carp, catfish. There's lots of different types of fish that can be found in there. So good job, team one. All right. Ooh, you guys are tied now. All right. Team two, it's your turn. We're going to try the random for 500. Ooh, random for five. All right. Name two different types of turtles that are found in Nebraska. We have nine different kinds of turtles. Just name two of them. All right, box turtle. Snapping turtle. Good, snapping turtles. All right, good job guys. So we have nine different kinds of turtles. We have what's called yellow mud turtle, the box turtle. We have two soft shell turtles. So instead of having a really hard shell, like um, the snapping turtle, they're gonna have kind of a leathery shell and you can actually like kind of bend them back and forth. Um, we have snapping turtles, the sliders, the painted turtles. So good job. All right, team one. Reptiles 400. Reptiles for 400. All right. Name this animal. What kind of animal is this? They said salamander. Good. It is a salamander. Good job. Can I also just say that you guys are by far my smartest group that I've had so far. So good job. Thank you. Seriously, you're doing a great job. All right. Uh, team two, your turn. We'll do mammals for 500. All right. Mammals for 500. This one's hard. This is probably one of the hardest ones we will have. All right. So name this mammal that's found in Nebraska. All right, what do we think? I don't think it's big. I think it's an otter. Okay, we're all going to say otter. Well, you are so close. You are very close. All right, so team one, if you guys have an answer and you get it right, you can steal their, their 500 points and take the lead. It's not an otter. That's a good guess. Uh, 
They said it's a mink. Ooh, good. You're the only team that's gotten that so far today. Good job. It is a mink. Yeah. So minks and otters look very, very similar to each other, but minks are going to be just a little bit smaller um, and otters are going to be a little bit larger. So um, otters probably get to be about three, three and a half feet long, um, including their tail and minks are just going to be a little smaller, but they're very similar to each other. It's kind of hard to tell the difference sometimes. So, all right, back to team one. Mammals for 100. Mammals for 100. All right. How many mammal species do we have in Nebraska? And if you guys get with very close to this, I will give it to you. You don't have to get the exact right answer. So how many different kinds of mammals do you guys think we have in Nebraska? All right, do we have an answer? They said 21. Ooh, it's way higher than 21. Good guess. All right, so team two, do you guys have a guess? What's our guess, guys? What do you think? Nine, 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 nine. Nine. All right, team two, I'm gonna give that to you because you are very close. The answer is about 100 different kinds of mammals. So, nice job. So if you think about all the different types of mammals we have, we have a lot of different kinds of rodents. We have lots of mice species. We have things like prairie dogs and squirrels. Um, and we also have, out of all of our mammals, 100 mammals, we have about 13 different kinds of just bats. So bats make up almost like 25% of all the mammals that we have. So we have a lot of different types of mammals in Nebraska. Good job. All right, team uh, two. Um, we're going to go random for 400. All right, random question, 400. All right, this one's a little harder too. Name the three different types of prairies that are found in Nebraska. Three different types of prairies that are found here. Um, I don't know. So when you guys think of the state of Nebraska, if you go from the east to the west, there's three kind of dividing prairies that we have. Depends on the type of, um, the length of the, I don't want to give it away, the length of the. So I know Sand Hill. So we know for sure one is Sand Hills. Okay. Or grass. Grass, grass prairie and long long grass we long grass prairie okay you guys are very close yeah very close i'm gonna give team um one a chance to see if they can figure it out we don't know Okay, that's totally fine. This is a really hard question. So team one, you are really close. So when we talk about the three different types of prairies, we have tall grass or that long grass, mixed grass, short grass, and then we also have the sand hill. So it's not necessarily a prairie type, um, but when we talk about different regions in Nebraska, we have four regions. So tall grass, mixed grass, short grass, and then the sand hill. So good job, that was a really hard question. All right, are we back now to team one, right? Insects for 400. All right, insects for 400. How many different types of bumblebees can be found in Nebraska? I will give you a hint. It is under 25. They think it's 15. Well, you're close. All right, I'll give a chance to team two. If they get closer, whoever gets closer, I will give them the, the question. What did you say, Hudson? Yeah. Twenty. 
All right, that's actually the right answer. Good job. So you. Good job. It is 20 different kinds of bumblebees, just bumblebees alone. That's not even including the other types of bees out there. So just bumblebees, we have 20 different kinds. All right, we probably have time for about one more question for each team. So uh, team one, it is up to, right? Team, team two, sorry, team two, it's your decision, right? Yes. We're gonna try mammals for 300. All right, mammals for 300. What is one characteristic that makes a mammal a mammal? So if I was walking down the street and I saw an animal, how, what's one way that I would know it's a mammal for sure? Give you guys a little time to guess. Hey, what do you guys say? Say it loud. Milk. Milk. Suction. Suction. <laughs> that's true did i hear milk is that what i heard yeah milk yeah yeah so the good so the mothers will give their babies milk that's one of the things that mammals do good job all right so that was team two all right let's see if i can go back and show you that okay yeah so um they drink milk from their mother they have fur or hair on their body they give live birth, they, except for two that live in Australia, which we're not gonna worry about. All mammals um, will give live birth, they don't come out of an egg, and then they're warm-blooded. So if, even if right now we're mammals, if you guys touch your forehead, you should be warm too. No matter whether you're in a blizzard or sitting on the beach in the warm sun, you guys will always maintain that normal body temperature about 98.6. All right, team one, this is the last chance. All right, what question and category do you guys want? Reptiles, amphibians, 500. Reptiles, amphibians, 500. All right. Nebraska has one true arboreal frog species. What is it? Do you guys know what arboreal means? No. All right, so arboreal means tree living. They live in trees. So do you guys know what's our one frog species that lives in trees? They think it's a tree frog. Is that are, specific enough? You guys are right, yes. It's called a Coke's gray tree frog. Good job. So you guys just took the lead by 100 points. It was a very, very close game. So good job. All right. So um, I will go ahead and stop sharing my screen here. So thank you guys for playing with me. Um, before I let you go, do you guys have any questions or anything that we talked about today or anything about animals that you guys have questions on? Otherwise, I'll let you go so you can get to your next session and finish up your lunch. Our classroom does not have any questions for you. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for joining us. You seriously have been the um, smartest group so far. No one has gotten that many points um, so far in a game. So great job, guys. Um, thank you. Thank you, guys. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you.